Caitlin Phillips, and this is The Side Comment. In this episode, mathematician David Atchison explores the magic of geometry and how it can show the spirit of mathematics at its best in just a few minutes. Hello, I'm David Atchison. I'm an Emeritus Fellow in Mathematics at Jesus College, Oxford, and I have a new book just published called The Wonder Book of Geometry. In my view, geometry can offer the quickest route into the whole nature and spirit of mathematics at its best, at virtually any age. In fact, I claim, quite early in the book, that with geometry it is possible to see something of mathematics at its best within just half an hour of starting. The basis for this claim, really, is something that happened to me a long time ago. And I do mean a long time ago. At school, on a cold winter's morning in 1956, when I was ten, our maths teacher, who was called Mr Harding, had been doing some stuff at the blackboard, with chalk dust flying everywhere, when he suddenly turned round and told each of us to take a compass, draw a circle, and then draw in a diameter. Then each of us had to choose some point on the circle itself, join that point to the ends of the diameter by straight lines, and finally measure the angle between those two straight lines. I duly got on with all this, casually assuming that the angle at the point I'd chosen would depend on where that point is exactly on the circle. But no, it doesn't. And not only that, the angle in question is always 90 degrees. I was genuinely shocked by this, and in all the years since, I've never quite forgotten that moment. And I now know that the very best results in mathematics are often like this. They surprise you, and then they sort of stay with you throughout life, a bit like old friends. Of course, there's more to great mathematics than the element of surprise. The subject has important practical applications, especially to science and engineering, and, more subtly perhaps, the actual methods of deduction or proof used in mathematics can have a certain charm and beauty of their own. This is particularly true when the proof of some result gives you a powerful new way of looking at things, so that something that was rather mysterious at first becomes suddenly relatively obvious. Geometry isn't the only way of introducing these ideas, of course. It can be done, for example, using algebra instead, but in my experience at least, it takes much longer to get that particular subject really going. So if you want to see all the main features of mathematics at its very best, then, in my opinion, and I hope I've got this right, geometry, if done imaginatively enough, really does offer the best way in.